Yo, what's up guys, your GTA Pups are here and welcome back to another brand new GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're actually going to be going over your new 8 new stunt races that Rockstar introduced into G2 Online last Thursday uh, in regarding this filler content that they said would be arriving in the next couple months and going over all the races that they introduced and more, so let's get right in to today's video. So you guys, remember when Rockstar did, you know, bring out that newswire saying that, you know, we're going to be getting that, you know, Tuner Car Culture DLC sometime this summer. But again, they also announced that we will be getting some of this content called the filler content. Uh, again, we did get the stunt races, and then we have two more to go. We have the deadline adversary modes, and then the survival adversary modes left to go whenever Rockstar does decide to release them. Now, I know this video is coming out late. Again, this stuff actually got introduced into G2 Online uh, last Thursday. I was just away a couple days during the Memorial Day weekend, so I didn't get a chance to make this. But again, I'll be going over all the races. Even Rockstar did introduce a new trailer for these, you know, introducing the races that are probably on your advertisements when you watch YouTube and etc. So starting off with the first race is called Sun Sea and Chinchons, if I'm saying that right. And Rockstar says, experience the majesty of nature as it hurtles by your window in the kind of nursing blur that's sure to leave a smile on your face and your dinner on the dashboard. And basically, this stunt race is for classic sports cars only. Moving to the second one is called A Tight Spot. And Rockstar says, does the crushing stress of the modern world leave you feeling like the walls are closing in? Prove one for, for all that is not just in your head. When your scop gets violent, sand it by the tarmac above. Car collapse bit need not apply. And again, this race is for motorcycles only. The next race is Bridge Too Far. And they say between the metham and the carnage of a track packed with the kind of Latisans who take a swing of Torella while filling up their tank, is there a better time to truly appreciate the structural intensity of La Perro Freeway? No, there's not. Again, this stunt race is for sports cars only. Moving on to the next one is called Cluster Struck. And Rockstar says, inspired by postmodern nonlinear French antagonists, this is what you get when you feed your antagonists nothing but Dimalo and Bustery when Watch has flatliners into the scale model. In other words, a work of genius and one hell of a stunt race for muscle cars only. Moving on to the Vesis Spiral, they say how much G-Force is too much G-Force and one you like to know firsthand? If you answered, there's no such thing. Hell yeah, then you're the idol participate to run in the phase 2 client trial. You can rest assured the scientific findings you will be greatly appreciate when you scoop out in the driver's seat. Again, this stunt race is for supercars. Again, that is the top favorite I have heard so far. Moving on to Cannon Fooder, if I'm saying that right. After an expensive lobbying campaign, the race organizers have managed to exempt this race from the yearly San Andreas Road facilities Texas. Because if you decided a big ass truck would take on the airbag, you get what's coming to you. This stunt race is for off-road vehicles only. And basically, our second to last one is smoke up your asphalt. And they say, in an effort to distract the health and safety board from the internet violations, the Palmer Trailer Power Station has agreed to host a tribute to the power and beauty of fossil fuels. The Vice Ride... The, this race like it's your last because if you jumps don't get your entire fumes will stunt race is for motorcycle class again Moving on to the last one. We have city limits and Rockstar says clear your throat loosen your tie and inform the uh, HGM that you will finish strategically as you hit g-force. It's time to take the business outside is anyone taking notes and this stunt race is for supercars. So again, there are eight stunt races that Rockstar introduced in, you know, the stunt race series. Again, I tried to do some over the time that I had. Again, they are fun, these new ones. And actually, this is the last day that you can take advantage of triple cash and RP if you do these stunt races. Again, this is going on uh, 
you know, over the event week that Rockstar has introduced last Thursday. And again, this is the last day. Again, we get a new event week Thursday. Again, we're not sure if we're going to get that deadline or a survival in, uh, tomorrow, or we could get it maybe next Thursday or the Thursday before. Again, we're not sure what Rockstar's plan is. We just know that they have two more to go, and they can release them, you know, in the middle of summer, beginning of summer, whenever they want to release them. So, again, if you do want to take advantage of, you know, the triple RP and cash, uh, this is your last day to do so. As the tunables do update early morning on Thursday, pretty much around 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, again, you can figure out the time zones if you don't live in the Eastern Standard Time. So again, guys, I want to from you in the comment section down below. Are you enjoying these stunt races? Again, are they something fun that Rockstar has introduced as a filler content? And what would you like to see if Rockstar did more filler contents like this? So again, guys, my name is GTA Pups here. If you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Pups channel for more videos like this. Again, my name is Pup here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.